Well, the first ball to be bowled in earnest in the 2006 Weber Cup goes to Paul Moore, the man who has made the shortest journey to get here to Barnsley in West Yorkshire. What does he start off with? Let's take a look. The Weber Cup is underway. And that'll do nicely. First blood to Team Europe. Absolutely fantastic shot from uh, Paul Moore. Lay the ball nicely down, left-hand side of the lane, and it rotates up right in to the one-two pocket between the one and the two pins. Well, there's no slow starts and feeling your way here. Both these fellas still on pace for a maximum 300. Now, that figure will go down any time a pin gets missed. If basically these fellas bowl 12 strikes in a row, they will score 300. But as soon as something is left, that maximum available will start coming down. So at the moment, they're still on pace for a 300. And Paul Moore will stay on pace for 300 with a double. First double of the tournament. A little bit uh, light on that head pin, but managed to uh, mix them all around. What a great angled shot that is. That ball's right, right up into the pocket there. It's been strikes all the way so far for this man. Can he make it three in a row, which is known as turkey in the business? For reasons I've never fully understood, Cass. I'm not sure as I've got all even to actually go there, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> not at the moment. It's so early in the tournament, is it? But Three in a row, turkey, that's all we know. Paul Moore is the uh, European number one ranked player for the third year in a row. Is Turkey on the menu for Paul Moore? Yes, it is. Now, it looks like Christmas came early, doesn't it? Gets his Turkey, three strikes in a row, he's perfect, through through. See the great rotation on the ball there. Rips the racket, all ten pins go down. What does he do? Does he find the pocket again? Not so much to say, is there? What can he say? Three, four, perfect shots. Four strikes in a row. Because every time he gets a strike, it's more pressure back on Jason Couch, the uh, American professional. Well, everyone was saying when they saw the lineup for this year's Weber Cup that it looks the best ever. These two fellas are setting a high standard very early. Can Paul Moore stay in the pocket? He does. He's just chipped up that turn in the bottom right hand corner there. I'm still, Nick, I'm still pinching myself that this match is actually on. We've got the three uh, top pros from the United States, and Paul Moore is actually giving one of them a real hard time. Look at this. Fantastic shot right in the pocket. Lazy 10 pin, but it's gone. And it makes five strikes in a row. And every time you think that Moore has really started to go for the afterburners. Now just a bit back there. Moore is just flying. Six in a row. Doesn't even acknowledge uh, Jason Couch. He's really locked in the, into his mental game. A six pack for Paul Moore. There you see them. Absolutely perfect so far. Now, you talked about that. Oil down the lane, or conditioner, as the uh, as the oil as, as the uh, bowling aficionados like to call it. it. It goes down two thirds of the lane, as you can see. The, there's the sheen there from those lights, and then it's dry for the last third, and that's when the rotations of that ball will bite into the dry part of the lane and just hook into that pocket area. Six in a row for Paul Moore. Is it a magnificent seven? It is. Just a lazy six pin, but it gets tripped from behind, and uh, that counts another strike, seven strikes in a row. This is fantastic. Absolutely great. Look at this. Fantastic rotation. There it is. We've talked about it. That lazy six pin's just gone. And a quiet look of satisfaction from the quiet man from Hull. Well, it's at the stage of the game that he's got seven strikes in a row. He's now going to be thinking to the end of the tenth frame. So, Moore can't afford a slip. And he's got it again. Absolutely identical to the last shot. That raises six pin. They're going to get a tap from behind. But it counts for a strike. We are now at eight strikes in a row. 
Great pin reaction. Chain reaction out of all those uh, twister pins. It's now becoming a mental game. Well, they call frame nine, which is where we are now, the foundation frame. This is where you build the strong finish. It's been a strong start. Oh, Strikes in a row for Primor, the uh, lead-up man for the European team. And he will stand up next frame to bowl for a 300 game on live television. Another fantastic shot, absolutely perfect so far, and he's loving it. Look at the body language there. But the amazing thing is, Moore can't even think about a perfect game yet. He's got to think about getting this point for Team Europe because he still hasn't shaken off Jason Couch. But now... It is a moment of destiny for Paul Moore of England and Team Europe. He has a chance at a perfect game on live TV. These opportunities don't come very often. He has nine strikes. He needs three more. shot in the whole game. I think he put the ball down a bit early. He didn't look too happy with it. It sailed out wide, it had the rotation on it, and he realised it came back and made the pocket. Now, that means because he's got a strike here, he gets two more bonus balls. He needs two more strikes for the perfect 300. So... Ten down, two to go. He needs this one. This is for the match. This is also for the perfect game. And he's got it. One to go. I can't believe this. This is so fantastic. It's unbelievable. Eleven strikes in a row. History could be made in the Weber Cup on live television. The big sell for this year's Weber Cup was that you have never seen 10 bowlers of this quality assembled under one roof at the same time. And some people said, oh, that's just hype. Hype, we could have a perfect game in the very first match. And I'm sure everybody is willing Paul Moore to get another 10. Is it perfection? He hates it, he's horrible, but he's got away with it. start for Team Europe and he turned away from that as if to say I don't like it it took a hop and yet he's still not all 10 down the worst shot of the whole game was shot number 12 he didn't like it he turned away the ball hit the one-two pocket and gave him 300 and the first victory